Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So I finally got it down here. I didn't film any of it because I didn't want to... It was too much work. Anyways, look. Lathe. We have a lathe in the shop. It's awesome. It's pretty much all functional. I gave it a light cleaning. So it's still got some of the patina. It's still got some caked on oil. I gotta figure out how to get off, but it's awesome. It's running. I love it. But I have to make a tool mount for it. I actually have a small tool post, the quick change post. I don't know. I just had it somewhere. It's probably a little bit small for this machine, but I have one and it needs to mount on here. But to do that, I have to make a small mount for it. And I was thinking of doing that on the mill. So on the mill, I have to do a couple of things before I can machine anything. So. I have to uh, make a back cover spacer thing for the electronics in the back. And then I also have to add the way covers or the bellows, whatever. So we're going to add those and uh, yeah, maybe we'll turn and cut some stuff. Let's go. Okay, we got the new bellows on, and uh, these are just from McMaster Car. They're just like generic ones, but they look pretty good. And we got these, actually two spacers in here. The funny thing is, this machine came from a guy that had a pretty extensive machine shop and was pretty good at what he does, and for some reason, he never built a better cover for this after it changed from 220 to 110. So, uh, that's funny. Finally done there. So now I'm going to tram in the cutting head here because there's these two holes that let you pivot the head. So we're going to tram it in, see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got this set under here. It's kind of rough, but it'll work. And I've got that set to zero and I'm going to run the motor back and forth to see how far it is off. And then I'm going to loosen these tap it to which way I need to get it straight and uh, until it's perfectly level with the bed. Let's do that. Okay, so it is uh, pretty damn level, which is awesome. So I think we're almost ready to cut something. Now I do have to warn you, I'm not going to be using any CNC movement. I'm gonna do it all manual, just doing straight cuts. Um, I don't really have a way to communicate with that yet with my computer. I could manually program it, but uh, that might be a little bit adventurous for today. Anyways, let's throw a piece of aluminum on there and. See if it cuts. Okay, we got the test piece of aluminum in here. That's the bit that came with it. I'm using it. It seems kind of sharp, but uh, also if it explodes, then whatever. Uh, in there, we're just going to do a straight cut going this way. See how it goes. First cut ever.
cuts are looking awesome. It's just nice to have a machine that's so rigid. Okay, now that I know it cuts, I've got my little piece of stock here, and uh, this is what I'm gonna use to go on the lathe, right here. So you can see it's gonna have to slide into this slot, and it's gonna have a M10 thread in the middle, so really I'm only gonna do on the lathe. Um, all I'm gonna do on the mill is mill down these two sides, and then that'll slide in like that, and I'll do this just manually. So right now I'm going to set up uh, the area where I'm going to cut down the sides and maybe the face, we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to set this up as square to the machine so I can butt this up against it, make a cut, and then once I come back then I can go square to that. It doesn't need to be perfect so, you know, just playing around but this is the way to set it up. So I'm going to set these up. Put the dial indicator on here and we'll see uh, how square we can get those. Well, that was good enough right there. That's going to be my surface. Already parallel with the machine somehow. Just snug those down. Double check it. That is beautiful. So notice I drilled three holes. Really only the center one. Wow, that's ugly. Is uh, what I'm mounting to, but the other two I'm going to use for work holding. Just thought it'd be easier than uh, setting it up. I don't quite have all the equipment yet, so. so that should be pretty good. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be good enough. Check out those chips. This thing is amazing. See how it fits. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll just trim up these ends, I guess. Chop the edges off. That one is a nice cut. Anyways. Perfect. I might be pushing my luck, but I'm gonna surface that down. Oh yeah. 
Feels good. Okay. Let's get this thing installed. All right, we got the tool post on. We got a piece in here. I had to wire up the lathe. Comically large stop button. And yeah, let's cut something real quick. It is the next day. I had to get some sleep. It was like 3 a.m. I wasn't gonna operate this thing. So I've got the tool post on. I actually had to fix the motor mount because it was damaged. I had to re-weld it. Um, should be ready to cut something. Got a piece in here. Let's do it. printed reference lathed actual part this is awesome all right this is so awesome we've got a working lathe working mill and probably next thing would be to get the CNC part of the mill working so I'm probably gonna have to get a new controller like I mentioned in the other video and uh, I'm still working on that right now, but we can machine metal and I've already made some parts, so this is so cool. I'm still working on getting the workshop organized, but it's getting there, I added some more lights. I finally got the outlets and the plugs and everything installed so uh, I can actually plug things in instead of running extension cords. So, we're getting there. So anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.